Hello friends. Today I will discuss about personal accounts. How we can keep personal accounts in Excel. So the screen what you are seeing here is net worth. How it's been calculated. So assets minus liabilities. So lot of assets we have, lot of liabilities we have. Over the period of 12 years, say one year, we are incurring a lot of expenses. It's been paid, accrued. So, expenses, OPEX, operating expenses. So, what we have income, it's called operating income, and what we have expenses, that is operating expenses. Even if it is personal accounts, it's called income and expenses. Net income is excess of income over expenditure. So in business it's called operating income and operating expenses. So net worth here we are going to talk about each person's net worth. So each company's net worth. So net worth may be person, company or an entity. So we will calculate today net worth and we will keep accounting for net worth. So we will keep budgeting we will fine tune budget in order to make it rolling forecast so how it's been done so that's what i'm going to present you i will go with the net worth table here so in yellow slides here you are seeing this is budgeted numbers in the beginning january uh, and end of january he is expecting 1.3 million dollar it's in dollar 1.3 million dollar and at the end of the year it's 1.4 million he is expecting to grow and two months i have drawn in order to show you how it's been done net worth is assets minus liabilities so he has assets of 1.4 million and liabilities of 35,000, and net worth is 1.3 million so here i have showed is related to expenditure because it's uh, much more important that only we can control income it's harder hard to control hard to take into our control with a lot of external factors but expenditure we can control somehow I'm not sure about that how much but we can control so this is yearly expenses we have projected in different heads that is in green color and uh, the red color what you are showing here that is actual expenditure incurred on these heads until january february so the numbers are for reference purpose and here in right side you can see that this is absolute value of budgeted numbers under different heads for example rent paid so rent paid rent expenses 36000 food expenses 13650 entertainment 7650 so this is again this also here the same entertainment eight so it's around to uh, thousands that's it so next tab is income statement we are analyzing the income tab so here you can see actual income in usd under different header salary house property business and other income month by month so it's coming from the budget sheet i will show you that how it's been updated so these are these are actual numbers january february i have updated for reference numbers these are the budgeted numbers here and um, these are budgeted numbers and budgeted expenses total and net income so it's a total 156,000 101,000 is um, expenditure and 59 is the net income is going to so two months i have updated actual income that is so showing here so as and when we update in this sheet these are the input sheets Je 1 for january 2 for february march 3 for march uh, like 12 for december so each month same format of uh, table uh, table in excel we need to input the, the expenses incurred from different baskets for example it's paid from cash it's paid from bank it's paid, paid on credit or something like that so there is different baskets we have produced and the, i'll show you that how we are going to make it that entries so next uh, profit and loss account profit and loss account is our income statement so called 
so this is monthly income statements month after month we are checking that how where we are so for example if we change here the month for uh, january for example i have updated for january so january we have see, see that these are the budgeted numbers and these are actual numbers these are the variants so what we see in the green color this is um, excess of uh, budget numbers over expenditure this is surplus is here so here we spend more 250 budgeted 550 expenditure so it's more and again here we can see that uh, ytd so here to date this means for the year total budget um, budget total actually so not a by td it's actually budget total uh, and uh, january we have already incurred and february is incurring so rest of the month is going to come so actual expenditure we have made for 7.9 million sorry 7 709 70 out of 140 budgeted so we have balance of 93,070 in our budget balance so we can spend over march to december so and i will go through one of the tab this one for january how we are updating this one so on left hand side here i have updated uh, assets and liabilities listing so we have cash bank and different currency so we are updating here so if we have salary income if we have salary income for example so 10,000 so here in green color what we are showing here in this uh, uh, this columns we need to input the numbers in negative and in red color this is expenses it should be in positive so that when we update here opening balance is 1000 and uh, we have received 10,000 to 1500 3650 so if you are receiving in cash we are entering here if you are receiving through bank under which head we are receiving which account we are receiving we have to enter in the total those lines so this is in usd because usd transactions you have to enter here and this make sure that here and here it's usd when you are entering usd and again if you are entering here here this com this columns inr and there is inr rows for it inr column for expenses here so if you are entering anything don't enter here but enter in inr column in inr column most probably i can block these items but we are not expected to enter anything here so if there is any cross border cross transfer so we need this one so for contra so when we are entering any of the items here then it is going to impact on your closing balance for the month this closing balance in january this is going to be opening balance here see here it is coming from here from one so and so on and so on and it will come to 12 december based on that our profit balance sheet is generated here you see that 1385 1385 these are the breakup so we have to prepare budget before we start entering actual expenses in 1 to 12 sheets so please make sure that you update only in yellow colored cells here you can see yellow colored cells month by month what what income so here usd you can have usd and here inr i have selected but you can change the currency here currency here based on that you have to make sure that in exchange rate column here here you you're changing the exchange rate exchange rate basis inr in the national rupee to united states dollar so that is most important here exchange rate updation if it is both of them usd you put it as a one here then most importantly these are the income lines income rows so in this column if you are changing salary income instead of a salary from so and so company hp incomes house property one something like you can change it but it should be income and here it should be expenses in column from here to here 
you can change the expense header here but you have to make sure that only expense is recording here and again the same thing is going to repeat down it's connected it's connected here so here in INR you need to enter here you need to enter in UST so because it's UST here it's INR so based on that all budget numbers would be calculated and here what type of bank account you have what type of assets you have so make sure here that we have made groupings we have made groupings here we have made groupings here cash for example here you have to put only cash okay. name you can change but nature should be cash here bank so you have to make sure that nature bank for example city bank hsbc bank standard chartered bank so you can put the names but it should be bank similarly there is Fixed deposits. Fixed deposit you can show the HSBC Bank FD, Standard Chartered Bank FD, Citibank FD, something like that you can put it. And the interest accrued is the similar way. Investment you can change, but it should be investment. Receivable fund funds, other receivable, land and building. So everything is like that. If there is INR, so you can change it here, but it should be similarly. For example, credit card. You have different credit card issued by different uh, banks. So you can put the SCB card, City card something like that it's not a matter but make sure that it's a credit card and under the grouping so based on that what you are inputting all sheets will get updated here automatically here and here you have to input only on yellow colored cells make sure that this update here in cash bank so month and each month and when you are updated all the numbers here so check that this is balancing so balancing for example cash cash you count it it's balancing bank you check the bank statement FD check receipts investments you check that what is the balance of investment other receivable credit card you will get bank statement so everything you check at that month that every all entries have been updated here in this rows so once you updated everything then automatically it moves to it moves to uh, second so february and comes then you need to update only on february again january when you closed you see some differences here make sure it's everything is zero here so based on that you change the numbers in budget in order to match here become zero so you are forecasting for february one plus eleven one month actual plus eleven months forecast so you can change here the numbers in order to make it sure make sure that your budget numbers actual for january plus 11 so that you can see here network how it's going to move network how it's moving so here is 1405 so if income for example so here here income is 18850 so 18850 we had income total 19000 so make it 18850 here so we we can see that the total is the same amount is going to net worth net worth going to show exactly the same amount so january is actual and next 11 months forecast so every month if you do that it will work out as rolling forecast so we will know that how much we are getting so again every month you can control it con con control it and again you have an overall idea about where we are moving it's moving progressively or not if not moving progressively you can do the changes and you can update the budget and uh, you can streamline the process at any point of time you know and again this can be used for personal accounting and small business accounting also so for management reporting md reports for that it can be used at very high level not very detailed but very high level two currencies can be used based on your requirement everything has to be updated that's all i hope that this is uh, would be much more useful for you i would be ready to share this file to you if you are interested so it's with me thank you very much for your time and watching my video thank you